We have no time to waste because, honey, we make a lemon pound cake. Let's get in the kitchen. Whipping up all of your favorite recipes. Simply food. You should know by now that you're in for a treat. Simply food. There's no other channel where you'd rather be. Simply food. Seafood, pasta, cakes, and pies. Sing your life and even cry. Like, like and share and hit subscribe. Simply food by T.Y. Alrighty, y'all. So let's get right into it. So to my stand mixer, I'm going to be adding in two sticks of unsalted butter and eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese. Now, to make your life easier, you want everything that's in this recipe to be room temperature. Your butter, your eggs, your cream cheese, you want it to be all room temperature. And the reason why I said that is because, you know, if you don't have a stand mixer, you can do this with a hand mixer. If you don't have a hand mixer, you can do this with a wire whisk. And the only way you'll be able to do that, or I should say easily accomplish it, is if you have it at room temperature. I also just added in a half a cup of Crisco. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just working on getting everything nice and smooth, making sure that I'm scraping down the sides along the way. That is truly the key to making a good pound cake, is really making sure that you're getting that butter, sugar, cream cheese, Crisco uh, mixture extremely smooth before you start to add in the eggs and the extracts and all the other type of things. Um, so now that I've done that, I've just added in two tablespoons of freshly squeezed orange, um, not orange juice, chai, lemon juice. And then I also added in a half a cup of the instant French vanilla pudding mix. And then I'm also now starting to add in my three cups of sugar. Now I'm going to be gradually adding in that sugar. Um, so, you know, don't pour it in all at once. You want to make sure that you're getting it nice and smooth. Once again, the key to a really good pound cake is making sure that you're getting this nice and smooth before you add in the flour mixture because you do not want to have to overwork it. So really take your time with this. Add in that sugar little by little. Make sure you're scraping down the sides so that if there's any sugar you know, catching onto the side of the bowl or just sitting down at the bottom, it's all fully getting incorporated. Once you get that nice and smooth, you can go ahead and add in one fourth of a teaspoon of lemon ac extract, one eighth of a teaspoon of the almond extract, and then you can add in about a half a tablespoon to one and a half tablespoons of vanilla. That just really depends on your preference on how vanilla forward you would like it. But you don't need to do any more than one and a half tablespoons. Just keep that in mind. Give that another mix once again, making sure that now we're getting in all of those extracts, you know, completely mixed in through all of this butter. I'm telling y'all, this damn pound cake, okay, is so damn good. Oh, Jesus. Okay, now we're starting to add in our eggs one by one. Now, these are large eggs that I'm working with, once again, that are in room temperature. There are six eggs in this recipe total, and like I said, I'm adding them in one by one. Once I start to see that the yolk has kind of, you know, started to slightly get mixed in, that's when I move forward and continue to add in the rest of them. As you guys can see, this is already starting to become super fluffy, super decadent. And that is exactly what you want for a good pound cake. I'm trying to tell you, because at this point, we're no longer going to be really mixing this on high at this stage. You know, now that we've added in the eggs, it's about time for us to get ready to start adding in our flour mixture. And this is when it's really important to make sure that you pay attention because as you cannot mess this up. The only way you can mess this recipe up is if one, if you over mix it. And number two, if your oven is reading a hotter temperature than what you set it as. So we're starting to add in our three cups of flour and to the three cups of flour. I made sure that I sifted it through just to make sure that there's no lumps or anything, but there's three cups of flour 
as well as um, one fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda and one fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. And like I said, I went in, ran that through a sifter just a couple of times, just so I can make sure that, you know, it's nice and smooth. As you can see, I'm adding this in little by little. Once I start to see that the flour has kind of mixed its way through, I continue to add it in. This is the key, you all. Once you have all of that flour mixture in this batter, turn your mixer off. Do not just allow it to keep mixing, to keep mixing, to keep mixing, okay? This cake, when it is done, should essentially just melt in your mouth. There should be no bite to this pound cake at all. I turned it off. As you can see, all I'm simply doing right now is making sure that there is no loose flour at the bottom. And since there's not, that means I'm done. Have your oven preheated at 350 degrees. My bunt pan, I sprayed it down with the Pam Flour Baking Spray. The Pam Flour Baking Spray. And I heavily coated this pan because I want to make sure that it comes out easily like butter. So now I'm just putting, you know, our batter all around our baking dish. Once I get that all lined up in there, I'm going to bang that down on the counter a couple times just to make sure that there are no air pockets. Once again, quick reminder, there is no real way that you can mess up this recipe, you guys. All you have to do is make sure that you do not over mix your batter and make sure that your oven is set at exactly 350 degrees, okay? Do not over mix it. Promise me you will not over mix it. Once you get all of your batter in, you want to evenly make sure that everything is dispersed around the pan. Like I said, bash that down on the counter a couple of times just to get out all the air pockets. You're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for exactly 60 minutes. In the last 10 minutes of that 60 minutes, I want you to keep an eye on it just to make sure that it's not getting too dark. It should be a golden brown color. If it looks like it's starting to get too dark, you can just lay a piece of aluminum foil over the top of it so that it doesn't get any darker. But at that hour mark, a toothpick should go in and it should come out of the oven looking beautiful, just like that. I let that sit on a wire rack for about 10 to 15 minutes so that it was cool enough to the hand so that I could flip it over onto my serving dish. Be very gentle, but essentially, if you sprayed that pan down properly, you should have no issues with getting this out. And like I said, it is going to come out, baby, just like butter. And when I tell you this damn cake is so stunning, do y'all see that? You can do it too. Don't worry, honey. But let's work over to the lemon sauce right quick. So I went in and I added in one cup of powdered sugar, and then I added in about two tablespoons, two to three tablespoons of whole milk. You want to make sure that you're not adding in too much of the milk because it's going to get too thin and you want to make sure that it stays nice and thick. I also added in a couple of droplets of some yellow food gel coloring and then about one eighth of a teaspoon of the lemon extract to this as well. Give this a good mix. It's going to get nice and thick. Don't worry. Once again, don't add in too much liquid. A little bit will go a long way and you want it to remain nice and thick. Give this a good whisk so that it can remain nice and smooth. You can also give this a taste right now if you would like. You could also add in some fresh lemon juice, but if so, reduce how much milk you're going to add. So just keep that in mind. Now that we got that done, now we can go over and ice our cake. I'll, I would say all together, it was about a good 20 minutes that went past before I got to this stage. You want to make sure that your cake is nice and cool before you start to add on the icing. And at this point, y'all, just have fun. I mean, the, like I said, there is no way that you can mess this up. This cake, y'all, will melt in your mouth. It is so incredibly moist. By making sure that you got that butter and the Crisco and the sugar nice and smooth before you started to add in the egg and then you start to whip in those eggs and then you start to add in the flour but not over mixing it. And by adding in that instant pudding mix, I'm telling you, that this right here is going to be your go-to lemon pound cake. 
Trust me when I say. Look, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you guys like what you saw, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you guys subscribe, hit that bell to be notified, and make sure that it's set to all so that you guys can get notified. YouTube is trying it and is not sending people notifications like they're supposed to. So just, you know, keep an eye out on my channel. I've been trying to post recipes at least twice a week. All in all, y'all babies stay cute and take care. Bye, guys. Slaying in the kitchen. Simply Food by T.Y. We hope that you enjoyed it. Simply Food by T.Y. If you haven't took the time, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Simply Food.